Which is bar. Anyway, side of Shoggy. Anyway, uh, well, it's been it's been a fascinating day. I gave a, a barnstormer, I think, which uh, is all around Twitter, and I made a number of points which I come on to. But what we've had since eight o'clock is that we've not had any Conservative Party speakers. Labour, SNP. About ten minutes ago, and to my quite company colleague, and I asked him that there were three genuine traditions alive and well in every political party represented in the chamber. And I then looked at, and I then pointed to him and said, "Just look at the Conservative benches. We have the equivalent of what can only be described as a walk-in, a privilege incidentally denied to the trade union movement <laughs> in the United Kingdom." There's been a number of things I think that, have, that I think that the SNP have flunked the uh, Tories today on, and that's in the issue of political funds. Because I think that they thought that the SNP would back the Tories on the political funds to have a kick at the Labour Party. But it's not just about funding the Labour Party. The political funds is about funding organisations like Hope Not Hate, international uh, funding, Justice for Columbia, Medical Aid for Palestine, all these organisations and all these campaigns would not have had funding if it hadn't been for the trade union political fund mechanisms. It's not just about funding the Labour Party. And you would think they would know because they keep talking about funding the Labour Party. The majority of individual trade unions don't fund a political party. So we've been making those points well. But the, one of the main points that I think I drove home, and I see there's a few uh, unison picket and official picket t-shirts and armbands. Under the Tories legislation, you're going to need two armbands. The first armband is going to be official picket, and the other armband is going to be blacklist me. Because having a register of pickets, I'm telling you now, is going to be the new blacklist, and it's completely and utterly unacceptable. And what's also unacceptable is the agency worker le legislation that we're trying to drive through this. Because any trade union now is going to be approached by an employer and say, we want to bring in agency workers. The immediate thought of a trade union is going to be now, well, what is it you're up to? What is your plan down the line? Because, uh, uh, and it's, what I find interesting is that most agencies don't want this legislation for the reasons that I've described. So it's a rogue employer's charter, in my view. Now, we might win tonight, but I think it's likely that Tory MPs like David Davies have served them notice about um, what we are now calling in, in the chamber secondary tweeting uh, because of the social media uh, aspects around this and on the uh, picket issue is uh, he's served them notice that if that's not taken out he's going to vote against the legislation in third reading. Uh, there's a, a lot wrong, we've asked them a lot of questions on facility time and check off. Scottish Government and Welsh Government are being told that they have to enact this and they don't want to. So there's real issues there about instructing industrial relations with other organisations. But I'll just end with this. I am going to be on the Bill Committee along with one of my SNP colleagues. I, I will still, as I've done today, I will scrutinise every line, every dot and every comma. This is not about trade union power brokers. This is about the effects this legislation will have on individual trade union members and their families. That's the real issue. That's why we oppose it. Thank you.